This is the most that the public is able to see of the St. Mary's River wildfire today. Some white gray smoke just off the side of the Crow's Nest Highway here north of Cranbrook, BC. And it does look calmer than it has in some time, but that doesn't mean that the danger has passed. It is tricky with fires because when the fire lays down, it doesn't feel as visual, so it doesn't feel as you know urgent sometimes to people as when they are seeing something that's more dynamic. But people are certainly aware that there is a fire in the area, and we're just encouraging anyone that's on alert to make sure that they're staying prepared and aware. The wildfire here is currently at 40 square kilometers in size. Crews held the fire fairly well overnight, but the wind is now the issue. There's concern gusts of up to 50 kilometers an hour could push the flames to the southwest and closer to the city. We're starting to see some of the sustained winds moving into the area and we are expecting to see some gusty conditions this afternoon. So that is the sort of the big focus, not just for us in the Regional Emergency Operations Centre, but obviously for the crews that are out in the field as well. It's a cold front that's coming in and quite often the winds can be erratic and shifting uh, when that system moves in. So that's one of the things we'll be paying very close attention to. More than 670 properties are still on alert in and around the area around Cranbrook and there are still 50 that are on evacuation order. There are also seven families families who have lost their homes in the nearby community of Ackham. Rihanna Schmunk, CBC News, Cranbrook.